Shoreditch is London's creative centre. Feels to me like the sort of Covent Garden did in the early eighties, um, when it was sort of there were that when it was the market and it was you know there was empty warehouses and and then sort of shops start opening up and all cool graphic designers were moving in. It has spaces which enable creative people to actually create. We have uh, two parts of the studio here. We have an architecture practice and we have a design practice. We do furniture, product, um, textiles, and working for companies all over the world. Well, we've got 30 odd people in total, which means we need a good sized space. But as well as that, I think we made a conscious decision to move east because we felt that there's a possibility for kind of cross fertilization of ideas. You know, this, when you're in an area like this, and there aren't that many, you know, globally, where you have artists next door to you, or you have galleries, small galleries, and you have, you know, architects, relatively big firms, relative, and one-man one bands, you have ad agencies, but at the same time you have this kind of um, tension that's caused by the city and then the real East End. So you're sort of really stuck in this kind of interesting mixture of industries and um, places. I think the great thing about here is that the architecture has quite a similar feel to parts of New York, really. We've got these quite narrow streets and warehouse buildings. It feels like London should be everywhere, really, I think. I mean, East London now has internationally has a reputation for being a sort of cool area. Whether, you know, if you talk to people from New York or from Tokyo, everyone knows about Shoreditch, everyone knows about Hoxton Square. For us, probably the the most common thing that happens here, which is uncommon, is meeting people who we normally meet in Milan or New York, outside in the sandwich shop. And that didn't happen in other areas of London where we've worked. You know, this, it happens here because this really is the kind of, the, you know, a kind of creative hub, I suppose. I, I always find it easier, actually, to design new things when I'm here in, in the studio in East London than I do kind of working at home or working somewhere else. Some people just don't get it, but creative people love it.